Each week, U.S. Bank brings us stories of athletes who inspire us. Jake Vanderbrook is here now with an amazing track star from Heritage High School. Robert, a few months ago, Alejandro Cervantes made a commitment to join the Heritage track and field team. The first month, the coaching staff had no idea he's legally blind. It's safe to say this young man is taking a leap of faith. Meet Alejandro Cervantes, a sophomore from Heritage High School who's a fierce competitor on the track. At a young age, I didn't really think about track. When I said I wanted to do it, you know, I, I knew I could do it if I put my, put my mind to it. He really is a go-getter. He puts everything that he wants, he goes after it. Sure. Alejandro may look like a normal track and field athlete, stretching out, doing drills. However, what stands out the most is the fact he's practicing and competing with hardly any vision. So I have uh, no vision out of my left, and I have very horrible vision out of my right. I'm very sensitive to the light, and very blurry. I, I can't tell faces um, unless you're like right here in front of me. Alejandro is legally blind. Just five months after he was born, Alejandro was diagnosed with retinoblastoma, a form of eye cancer which forms in the retina, causing this young man's vision to deteriorate. My son is gonna die. Uh, that's the first thing I thought. I felt like a hole was open and I just went through it all the way down. However, Alejandro's disability wasn't going to stop him from achieving his goals. It's not gonna help to sit around and cry about it or it's not gonna help to, to feel bad, you know? like. I'm blind for a reason, you know? I, uh, if that's what was chosen for me, you know, just make the, make the best out of it. This is Alejandro's first year with the Heritage Track and Field team, but ever since his first practice, he always had an interest in doing hurdles. You're crazy. <laughs> that's the first thing I, I thought in my mind, but you know, I started worrying at the same time. After I tried telling him that hurdles probably weren't a good idea, I tried to let him do different events and he kept circling back to hurdles. The coaching staff worked relentlessly to make sure Alejandro is successful day in and day out. And we noticed that he was slowing down in front of the hurdles, but he was still getting over them. We did the orange tape and immediately the orange tape, you could tell that he could see it from far away. And so now there was no stutter stepping. Awesome feeling to be able to help somebody in their conditions, because that's what we come out here for. This is a kid that actually wanted to come and run over the hurdles. So we tag team, and now he has me running down the sideline Jump. with him. Jump! Jump! Good job! The color orange is not only helping Alejandro in hurdles, but it's helping him in the long jump. I started like, putting in some cones around the jump pit so that he could like see it better. Because um, what was happening was he was He'd be like running up to the pit and uh, he'd be like looking down and slowing down so that, you know, because it's scary to jump into. The body achieves what the mind believes. A simple message, whether if you are blind or not, anything is possible. And DNI, disability is not an impossibility, uh, meaning you can do anything, you know. Just put your mind to it and um, be always ready. He's my world. <laughs> He's my world and. Um... I want just the best for him. Every great move forward in life begins with a leap of faith, a step into the unknown. Alejandro Cervantes has proven a disability can turn into an ability. The sky's the limit for this wonderful athlete. He doesn't walk with a cane, nor an aid. That's just flat out awesome. How can you not root for this young man? I know. Yeah, just, just fantastic, and for him able to do the long jump and the hurdles, just fantastic. Yeah, great stuff. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake.